hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is olichimo be daniel so in case you're new here welcome on board and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to my channel so um i have my client here she worked in for her assisted Betty glam for her photo shoot and i decided to film this look so guys if you're interested in knowing how i transform mommy please keep on watching so I started off with cleansing her face. No matter how you take your bath, you need to still cleanse the face before makeup application is the first step. Very, very important. You can see that even after everything, there's still little death that came out of that face. So after that, I went ahead to do her skin prep. So guys, mommy here was not so comfortable because she's not used to this. I... <laughs> I literally begged her to sit in my chair so that I can film this look and she agreed but I love the fact that she sat comfortably while I did my thing so there are a few things tips I'm going to be dropping in this video and carefully I would love you guys to pay attention so I went ahead with a skin prep first of all using my serum from um cos rx 92 serum and after applying that i went ahead with my uh, mismetics moisturizer and this is me priming the face using my becca pore perfecting primer now i wouldn't advise mattifying primers on um an advanced skin everything has to be moisturizing because sometimes mattifying primers don't work because of wrinkles but if you notice i only use on the t-zones and my reason for that is because she's going she might you know change her outfit and i really wanted her makeup to sit perfectly well and i don't know i just had to just use a mattifying primer but it is advisable to go in with a moisturizing primer so for foundation i use um, huda beauty and nyx foundation i mix the two because huda beauty is a bit mattifying in fact very mattifying nyx is mattifying also but lightweight and i usually love mattifying foundations because nigerian weather is not for kids like it's not for babies it, the, the weather is so hot humid hot so it's best to use something that is long lasting and that was why i chose to use these two primers on her left for me i would have gone with a moisturizing foundation but this one is okay i didn't do too much and also one thing you need to know is that you shouldn't do too much you shouldn't put too much foundation on i had to use the brush because i needed to spread out the foundation i didn't want to add much if you notice her skin and her neck and her body is slightly lighter than her face so i had to match the two so moving on i used my mara cosmetics beauty sponge i love this pink sponge i don't even know between this one and the black which one i love the most but this one it does it for me even though they are both soft you know so for her contour i use my black copper stick foundation in ebony brown and i use the same brush i use in applying my foundation to place if you can see i'm not putting too much guys when working on advanced skin less is more i mean even if you're working on a younger skin less is still more so imagine when you're working on advanced skin their makeup needs to be light subtle and fresh so i'm using my brush to blend in because i really want that blending to go into the skin before i go ahead with my beauty sponge and i did this on her forehead area her cheekbones and sorry the hollows of her cheeks and her jawline these are the perimeters of her face so this will help to you know shaping her face and give the face the required enhancement that it needs so i'll carefully blend and after that i will go in with my beauty blender because brush cannot give you that perfect blending that you want it can actually but I'm more satisfied when I use my beauty blender to, you know, sink all that in. So, 
can see that her skin is still looking like her neck. There is no product on her neck and you can't really differentiate her, her face and her neck. So please, less is more. Take your time and do all that blending. Get everything right in before you go into the next step. Okay, so for the next step, I used um, my cream blush from Noban Beauty. This is in Coral, I think. Yes, I use very little because when you use foundation and contour, you don't want to leave the face without a color. I usually love to add blush because it kind of, it kind of gives life to the face. And mommy also needs blush. Everyone needs blush. You know, it's not only the younger people that needs blush. And you can see that how you can see how lightweight that blush is on her skin. There's a little bit of enhancement, also giving her face some definition. Sorry, this video is more like <laughs> it's not edited, like I'm going with the flow. Okay, so just this is like a BTS, how it happens in the studio while working. So a lot of distractions can happen. And I hope you guys don't are okay with it so back to the what i was saying i had to add a little bit more blush just to you know pop her face a little i'm really loving how this blush looks on mommy like it's fresh it's natural and it's not too much i mean too much of makeup makes one looks older let alone when you now do it on someone who is older in age so for concealer I used um, black opal, sorry, not black opal. I used LA Pro Concealer in Fawn. Okay, just very little of it because I love the fact that it has this warm undertone that, you know, fits into her skin. And for blending, I had to blend in with my brush first before i headed out with the beauty sponge now the reason why i did blending i did the blending with the brush is usually older people have um wrinkles beneath their eyes once they look down especially when they look down but this brush helps it to take it into that skin i mean if you don't use the brush it might you might see lines under there so the brush helps to blend it better before you even go in with the sponge you can see how seamless it looks after the brush before i even went in with the beauty sponge so guys these are the few few little steps you need to take you have to carefully do their makeup i mean i had to forward this video like it's fast forwarded but i carefully did this makeup like i knew i was going to still do her daughter's makeup right there but she was waiting she was like tama please you have to be fast though we have to do our photo shoot and all but i needed to get her makeup right okay so moved on i moved on to contour and i'm still using the same black opal stick foundation in ebony brown that i used previously for her for her face so I'm using it to contour her nose now it seems like I'm doing too much of contour because naturally I know I don't like nose contour but I wanted mommy's face to be snatched come on it's not easy to be 60 years so anything that can make her look like sweet 16 I was out to do it so I took my time to contour her nose because I naturally don't like contour but I did it for her and I like the fact that i did it for her so you can see her nose is pointy and i had to add a little concealer at the center to further highlight the center of the nose you can see all that blending is looking so smooth i kept blending like it was like my life depend my life depended on it so it's good to blend you get good results when you do that <laughs> So moving on, I applied setting powder and I, I'm using Merak or rather I used Merak in Nutmeg. I used Nutmeg because Nutmeg, I didn't want her makeup to uh, like her, her um, setting powder to be too bright. I mean, 
I was going to still brighten up under her eyes, but probably after the makeup. But for now, I wanted to keep it subtle. I wanted to keep it like her skin tone. I didn't want anything overboard. I didn't want her to look like a masquerade. So it's better you keep it subtle. Then if you need to add something, you can, you know, build up. But I love the fact that I use this shade because it, it just blended in with her skin. So I carefully placed that setting powder on the highlighted areas because the concealers obviously needed good setting. And trust me, when you don't set your concealers very well, it's going to crease and you don't want to know what's creasing. You don't want to see what creasing is or rather looks like on an advanced skin because if there is wrinkle present the creasing is even going to make the wrinkles more obvious so try to avoid that very important so make sure you set and lock in all concealers okay so after that i moved on to powdering her face you can see i'm carefully setting everywhere and Whenever you are setting, please less setting powder. Don't pack too much. Once you pick it, almost always dust it back into the pan before you go and place it. So for powder, I used MAC um, Studio Fix Powder in NW45. It was exactly her skin shade. You can see that there is no much difference from the skin and the powder i didn't want mommy to look lighter than herself and i also didn't want her to look darker than herself i wanted her skin to feel like is it's still her skin but a little bit of enhancement so for her brows mm, i carefully did her brows too because you can see that both brows one part has less hair than the other and obviously it's common with um aged uh, women their brows or their hairs things out gets the thing out okay but i'm going to fill that up naturally i'm sorry for the noise in the background there are kids in the house so they are just playing around okay so for the brows i used hegai and esther brow pomade in nubia this shade is not too dark and it's not light as well. It's also best for women of color. So I used it on Mama. I had to use this angled brush from Vika Bell. I carefully filled in the brows. You can see that I'm still following the same direction at which her hair grew. Like her brow hairs, you know, I'm just following the natural, you know, hairline right that's what it is is hair like <laughs> i don't know but just trying to give her hair like strokes yeah hair like strokes so i'll brush that through because i, I wouldn't want the pomade to look clogged up or thick on the eyebrows so moved on to the second brow so this part of the brows was so hard for me guys because there was no hair i think it's easier to actually work on full brows than thinned out brows because now you're trying to put an imaginary brow there and sometimes getting a straight line you know making it look perfect is not that easy but what is your work here your work is to make it better right so you have to concentrate and do it and that was that was exactly what i did I carefully, you know, applied it and filled up and um, making it look like the other. Okay, I filled up more hairs on this one because there were no brow hairs at all. So I had to carefully, you know, outline the brows and give her the natural hair like strokes. So remember, whatever you do carefully. So from this, I'm noticing that her skin and her neck looks perfectly blended. Can you see that? There is no product on the neck while there's product on the face and they look the same. So you can see that less is more, okay? Don't do too much because you don't want 
them to look even older than their age rather you want to make them look younger and more youthful so i'm also you know the way i'm doing the brows i'm also trying to give her brows some lifts so that she can have this youthful appearance okay so i've already defined the brows and i moved on to eyeshadow application I would have done a matte eyeshadow but no I wanted her to you know pop a little bit so for eyeshadow I'm using my Juvia's eyeshadow palette in coffee shop and I'm using the darkest brown there to just add definition and depth to the outer corner of her eyes using my Vicar Bell brush set so after that I went with lighter browns to you know diffuse the darker brown that way it's not going to look clogged up or unnatural so whatever you do always blend out diffuse the first color so that you don't have you know heavy eyeshadow and for her eyes she doesn't need so much so moving ahead i use my luster cosmetics eyeshadow palette in bougie so i mix these two shades just to get the eye color that i wanted i didn't want to use pigment this time because this palette is as good as using pigment i mean using it you don't need pigment so in case you are worried about it you're not sure of getting it it's a must buy like i think all their palettes especially this one and the sugar palette they are beautiful and is a must have in your kit so you can see that it looks like i added pigment but there are no pigments on those eyes so um and in applying this particular eyeshadow brand i ad advise is either you use your fingers to apply it if you want it to be long lasting if you don't want it to you know fall out or scrape out you have to press in like press hold and apply I don't know how to explain it press hold and apply that way the eyeshadow will sink into the eyelid and it's not going to fall out or scrape out so after that i went ahead to line her eyes this pencil is from i can't even remember because i know i'm used to using mara cosmetics but mine has finished and the distributor they have here in engu is out of stock on this pencil so i had to buy this one from the same distributor but it's not mera cosmetics so i'm carefully going to you know smudge out the pencil you know giving her a little bit of lift and also adding the de um, depth to the outer corner of the eyes I know you guys are used to me using gel liners to line but at this point i wanted something that is you know subtle so i just had to smudge out the liner making it look very natural and for the lashes i use one beauty lashes there are 10 in one lashes so guys she didn't want lashes but i promised her i wasn't going to be bulky so whenever you're doing makeup on advanced people remember that short lashes are the best options to use you don't want the eyes to look like umbrella or shovel please keep it simple when doing makeup on advanced skin everything simple just makes them look even more beautiful classy and you know beautiful okay so that's exactly what i'm talking about you see the lashes are very lightweight so after this i had to keep you know pressing in the lashes because i didn't want her to tear up or have the lashes choking into her eyes so <laughs> i had to you know carefully press it in using my tweezers And also, it's advisable, always ask them, are you okay? Are you comfortable? Should I take it out or should I press it till they feel comfortable before you leave the lashes? Please, always ask. So, the next thing was to spray her face using my Skin Denevier um, 
spray this is going to set the makeup and I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge to blend everything in because I don't want to keep fanning and fanning and fanning her. This even helps the makeup to sit perfectly. So the next thing I did was to do her lips. But before then, I made sure that everything was properly blended. And then I went ahead to add uh, my illuminator. So this is the face band from... Um, TM Essentials in Bomb. I didn't want to use powder highlighter because I didn't want to have to look older than her age. Guys, there's always a difference between using a, 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 a face balm and a highlighter. So this face balm just gave her that fresh, subtle glow and also it, it kind of gave her that illuminating, I don't know how to explain it, dewy finish kind of so that's it it's a whole matte look but it's giving dewy at the same time so please keep it simple you can see her face is glowing she does not need a powder glue that looks like you pasted conflicts on the skin no it looks very natural just use a beauty blender and place it and that's all so for her lips i had to clean her lips for excess makeup that was on her lips and then i went ahead to um apply lip moisturizer and then went ahead to line her lips so for the lip, i can't i can't even remember the name of the lip moisturizer i bought it online and it's very minty i used it on her so for the lips i mixed my dose of colors um brown lippy in chocolate wasted i mixed it with the brown um lip lipstick from my eye magic lip palette i mixed the two together with this brush from blossom cosmetics to apply the lip liner so i'll carefully line that afterwards i'll use the main lipstick So guys, you can see that how her lips were lined. Lining the lips helps to give a lip a definition. So for her lip um, stain, I use this lip stain from Noban Beauty. I keep forgetting the shade, but I'll get it and leave it in the description box. I carefully apply that at the center of her lower and upper lips and blended it well into the brown you don't want to leave harsh lines there so i carefully blended in So this is me trying to blend in the brown into the peach lip stain that I applied on her. I then use an um, nude entirely because the, I think the peach is going to you know add a little bit of color to her skin, and that was why I added it. So afterwards, I mix my Fenty Beauty Gloss in Fenty Glow and my So Pro Peach Cosmetics super cosmetics peach gloss i mixed it together to give me that peachy look as well so i didn't want to do something different from the um, base i did so i wanted everything to look natural and peachy that way her skin like her cheeks and her lips so you know go hand in hand i love the match it has so 
guys that's all for this look i helped her to brush the hair because she had it coiled down by the hairstylist and then i had to help her style it and put it in place so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope to see you guys in my next video just in case you haven't subscribed to my channel please 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 subscribe to my channel get me to ten thousand subscribers because i'm eight thousand something and i'm grateful that you guys are here and supporting me please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell because i have more videos to drop guys i promise you guys i'll be consistent okay so please don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell and also share this video to your friends i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video meanwhile this is my client this is a finished look she loved the entire look can you believe she's turning 60 well 60 looks good on her because makeup was slightly done it wasn't heavy okay so just in case you are not you didn't understand anything please don't forget to ask questions let's engage this post in the comment section ask your questions and also you know comment on the looks you want me to create on this channel so this is the finished look of her and also this is the finished look of her daughter bye Thank you.